Okay, good morning everyone. Welcome back to Leave the Trail. I apologize for the bad lighting. It is 2.30 in the morning and I don't have the best options. Today I'm hiking the Ben Loman track for sunrise. So I'm gonna tell you what it's like, how rough it is, how you navigate it through the dark, and then hopefully show you a beautiful sunrise at the top. All right, let's get going. Well, one thing kind of goes without saying, but I'll tell you anyway, make sure you bring some kind of light source with you, preferably a headlamp, because even though I'm walking on the street up to the trail now, there obviously is gonna be no lights up to this mountain, up to this mountain peak, so make sure you're prepared with a headlamp or some kind of light. Okay, so you wanna look for this guy. This right here is the first sign of the Tiki Trail, and there's a bike path to the left here, but we're going up the mountain. So made it to the top of the Tiki Trail in just under an hour with uh, a bit of a 10 minute delay. Five minutes after I told you to bring a good light source, preferably a headlamp, mine dies. I have three sets of batteries and none of them are working. So the headlamp is just completely gone, obviously, which sucks. So don't make my mistake, always double up. There's never too much preparation, bring two. That's would have been nice because using your phone, Using your phone as a light source, sure as hell ain't fun. And not very safe either, but that's all I got right now. Okay, about uh, two hours left to go. Let's do it. Okay, so once you get to the top of the gondola, you gotta continue along the Skyline Loop track until it gets to here where it splits off to the Ben Lomond. Pretty well marked to get here, you just continue past the gondola to the left and up the hill a little bit. If you hit the bike park, you've gone a little bit too far. Man, oh man, am I pissed about that headlamp. God, tested it last night, tested it this morning, five minutes and it quits. Not, not happy at all, but we got two more hours. Phone hopefully will last to the summit, and after that I won't need it, but we'll see. All right, <laughs> let's keep going. That's, uh, that's how it is, right? And I don't know if you can see those mountain ridges there and that dip in valley oh, and those stars. Man, oh man, it's already going pretty and the sun's not even up yet. God, God love that. Can't wait to get to the summit and see all this on the way down. It always sucks when a hike up a mountain starts to go downhill because you just know you're gonna have to climb right back up again. It's definitely starting to get a little bit cold again, so I'm throwing my sweater on. I don't know how long that'll last, but we'll see. <laughs> Beautiful here. I don't know if you saw about that last clip there, but the mountains, you can just see the mountains here. It's hard to see with the camera, but you can see them pretty clear. The naked eye, at least the shapes and the formations of them. Gorgeous, and the stars. Very, very pretty. Keep stopping to film, and that's gonna make me miss sunrise if I'm not careful. So, let's do it. It's funny, I, uh, I keep hearing all these noises and sounds and it's dark, right? So you can't see nothing. But I keep remembering that this is New Zealand and the good thing about New Zealand and Australia is that you don't have to worry about the things here in Canada, like mountain lions, bears, wolves, <laughs> nothing like that. So. The worst thing I think I'm gonna run up to here is a deer or maybe some sheep. I don't know what's on the mountain. Probably just small critters, but it's always a good thought. It's starting to look absolutely beautiful. And not too much farther. Need to go there. That's where we're headed. This is challenging, very challenging, but that that view behind me there, well worth it. Man, I sure you hope you can see those snow-covered peaks. Those are absolutely beautiful. 
and the wind, wind is certainly, wind's definitely picked up here. But almost there. Oh, it's killing me. Ah, oh, man, I am stopping at every marker. So every, I don't know, 30 or 40 meters, I need to take a break. No shame in that, but man, is it challenging. The summit is no joke. So take your time, be careful, watch your footing. I got another 25 minutes to get to the top, hopefully, before that's in full swing. It's pretty cool looking at the trail and seeing where you came from. Well, not quite there yet. My legs are just done. That's what it's all about. Nothing like that. Shaking leg pain at not even 6 a.m. What's cool is there's people camping right there. That's awesome. Not a bad place to wake up to in the morning. Alright, made it. Oh, that was a slog. Not easy at all. Fuck. That was tough. My legs and knees are just done. And this peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Mmm. I have never tasted so good. Man, that was hard. But goddamn. Look at this view. Absolutely unreal. All right, that's it, that's the summit. Man oh man, that was a challenging hike, but well worth it and well rewarding. Beautiful views up here, amazingly quiet. There was just two other people um, up here, the guy here just after me, so I was the first one up here, and now I'm all alone here. Absolutely beautiful, must do, recommend it for sure. Though it is a challenging hike, so I would not attempt it if you are not confident, skilled, or if you are a little bit nervous, do it but just take your time take your breaks and expect a longer time me it took me just over three hours three hours and 15 minutes to summit um, well worth it but like I said it was more challenging than I expected also it's super cold up here so one thing as well is make sure you bring a jacket I'm lucky I'm, I'm okay my hands are cold but everything else I'm pretty good make sure you don't just bring your sweater make sure you bring a nice jacket at the top if you want to get up here and you want to enjoy it make sure you have a jacket on you. All right, I'm gonna make my way down and see what it's like on the way down, see how my knees take it, and I'll see you at the bottom. Oh man, you always think going down is gonna be, you know, nice and relaxing, and sure, it's quicker, but man, does that beat up your thighs and your knees. Take your time going down, especially off the main peak here. When you're on the peak, <clears throat> coming off the peak, it's real steep and there's a lot of loose rock. The trail's not super well maintained, so be careful. Hi there, Mr. Goat. Oh, I was right about some wildlife up here. That's nuts. There's four of them. Cool looking things. Some serious horns in them. Wow. This all looks a hell of a lot different in the light. <laughs> it's very pretty, love it. <laughs> Good walk down, but man, going down, fuck, pretty much as bad as going up, for sure. Just so annoying. Woo, all right, done and done. What time we got? We got just before 10 to nine. So let's say like, you know, nine, six twenty, six hours and 20 minutes, including 45 minutes to the top. <sighs> Not bad, man, that last bit sucked. Coming down there, absolutely, is just a beating on your feet, your joints, your calves, everything. Absolutely sucks. I'm not gonna lie, I was gonna take the gondola down from the Tiki Trail, but it was closed, it doesn't open until 10, so I had no choice but to do the whole thing. All in all, man, challenging, 
challenging walk, but a good walk and not a bad way to spend a morning.